morning guys and girls. We're going to go down to Cheat Lake this morning and see if we can catch some fish. And uh, it's around 7 o'clock, going to be 60 in the mid 60s, cloudy, some sun today, probably pretty warm back a bit. So we're going to head down there and see what we can catch and we'll take you all with us. But uh, when you're out fishing, see if you can take the little ones with you and you know, learn these new guys and girls how to fish and uh, see if you can get them interested in it. Uh, I was down to see my grandchildren this past weekend and they live a little further away from us and uh, they was talking about taking the boat and going fishing and stuff but uh, they don't live that close so I don't get that opportunity too much but uh, so if you can take them you know take the all the little ones and even the ones up you know a little bigger and stuff and uh, anytime you can get them out of school that is and uh, take them with you and teach them you know how to fish and the fun and enjoyment being out on the water so we're going to head down there now and see what we can come up with so you guys come along with me okay guys and girls we made her to the lake we're going to see if we can catch some walleye today we'll take whatever we get but uh, we're going to try some bottom rigs here with uh, maybe some uh, twister tails on there with some night crawlers and uh, maybe do a little bit of jigging and uh, possibly even put on some uh, night crawler harnesses with uh, blades and uh, do a little bit of trolling possibly maybe catch some walleye because cloudy overcast day a lot of times walleye will bite a little better and uh, so we're going to give her a shot and see what happens today so you guys come along with me here yeah i thought maybe some of you might want to know what i use i've uh, got the ergo extendable net there it has a rubber mesh in it. A lot of, a lot, there's a lot of different kinds, but I like that one real well. None of these things I'm sponsored by or nothing like that. So you, you buy whatever you want. You know, I'm not pushing nothing. I'm just showing you what I have. I've got the X36 Quantum seven-foot rods here. Uh, they work out pretty well for walleye fishing. Uh, I do have three different reels here. I've got a pin reel, and uh, it's a fierce two has the rear drag and the uh, bait setter which is you can set the, uh, the little lever here so that way if something pulls it the drag is loose I'll show you here how it works but they can pull the line out real easy and then you flip that uh, whenever you start then I've got a Symmetri 2500 rear drag here uh, I'm not sure they even make it now but it was an excellent reel I've got a bunch of those probably the one of the best reels I've ever used over the years as a rear drag and then I have the Akuma Avenger here today with the bait caster on it too the uh, bait setter but uh, I like the rear drags because you can reach around and reach behind them there and adjust stuff whenever you're fighting fish you're not reaching in the front of your bale here uh, this part to and you can get in interfered with your line and stuff while you're fighting the fish uh, I have a Mercury 154 stroke on the back here, and I'm riding in a V18 Target Tracker, and made by Tracker Marine, which is Bass Pro and, and Cabela's and all those own it. I have a Minn Kota 70 pound thrust trolling motor, and I have a Deckhand 40 electric uh, anchor. So that makes it pretty handy, and everything's real convenient. Uh, so we have the VersaTrack system which the cup holders and different things all hook into the side of the track here so it makes it pretty convenient and real nice to operate so have lots of room in the boat so it's a real good boat for me for walleye fishing and is uh, which I do mostly I have one of the older Lawrence's but uh, it still does a fine job it has GPS and everything on it and we've taken it to Erie and different places and always gets me back safe but uh, and then I have the Cabela's, if you can see here, I have the Cabela's uh, self-inflator. You pull the little ring here on the side to make it, uh, if you want it to inflate, or if you hit the water, it automatically inflates. Always use your safety gear for folks, because uh, it may save your life one day. We see a lot of things that these guys falling in the waters and stuff, and getting thrown out of their boats, and you could hit something in the water and 
throw you out of the boat and then you're going to be in trouble if you don't have your life jackets on so always be careful i don't wear it a lot when i'm uh, fishing and set still with anchor out or something but depends on the boat traffic and things like that but so just use your own common sense and be aware of what you're getting into before you end up in the water and killing yourself or something you know your family or someone else so uh, other than that we're going to keep fishing here a while and see if we get something caught here and show you how what we're doing Guys, yeah, we got something here. Not sure what. Probably a perch. Not too big, whatever it is. Perch, I think. A little perch, probably. We got another one over here somewhere on something else. And yeah, a little rock bass. Yeah, I got a snag on the other one, I think, there. Well, that's the first one of the day. A little rock bass on the smiley. There, we got something again. There we go. Get him off here and get him back in. There we are. Feels like a catfish, fellas. I don't know. Fighting like a catfish, anyway. I think that's what it is. Can't tell, actually, but I think it's a catfish. Holding down there pretty tight, keeps pulling. Gotta be a catfish, I would think. The way it's acting here. Pretty good size one. Well, it ain't huge, maybe, but it's decent. We'll get him up here in a minute. Show you what we got here. I do believe it's a catfish though. Can't see him yet. Fighting like one though. Jerking and carrying on. Yeah, nice catfish. We'll get him off the hook and put him back. There he is. Maybe he's getting all tangled up in the net and everything. Here's what we got, folks. Yeah, decent catfish, channel cat. That's typical down here at Cheat Lake. There's quite a few of them in here. Catch a lot of them. In this range, 15, 20 inch, 24 inch, something like it. So that's nothing unusual. Okay, girls and boys, we got another fish over here on this side. It's a decent fish, too. It's pulling down tight. Oh, yeah, it's not a catfish, I think. But it's fighting. Unless it's a bigger... Yeah, it's kind of quick. Can't tell. I don't think it's a catfish. Yep, yeah, there it is. It's a catfish. Not very big. This little fella. Well, doggone, it caught him. He must have came out and caught him in the stomach there somehow. I don't know how, how he got caught like that. But he did. He's just a little one, though. I'm going to hook him and throw him back. We don't want him. There you go. What we got there? Yeah, 
There, I've got something again. That feels like a perch. Yep, that's what it is. And I got another line off another pole mixed in with it, but I got a perch. Anyway. And I'm going to cut the line because he swallowed it. something here. I don't know what. Probably a perch. Perch or bluegill or crappie or something. That's <sighs> yeah, a bluegill. There's what we got. Okay, we got something here. I'm not sure what. Big perch. Real big perch. Nice one. Here we go. Now we're getting better. There we go. Pretty nice one. No twelve and a half inch. Well, we caught three or four catfish, about five perch so far, and a little bass or two. And uh, we'll go ahead and move on down the lake here, see if we can come across some other fish. I'm not finding a lot of fish today, but once we get on them, maybe we can catch some. So we're going to move around here a little bit. Well, I didn't get that on video, but there's another nice perch. Real pretty fish. Okay. Okay, folks, I'm at the end of the video here. Not done too bad today. I've caught a bunch of perch, some catfish, a few bass. Uh, nothing real big today, but uh, I think I'm winning the video right here. And uh, you guys continue to be safe and keep the take the little ones out and teach them how to fish and. Uh, if I happen to get something here the rest of the day that might be bigger or something, I may put a little more on this video. But if not, uh, thanks for watching and uh, share, like, and uh, subscribe and hit that little bell button so the next uh, video I make you'll get a notification and you'll know that I've made another one. So you won't miss any more if you're interested. And uh, So thank you for watching and until next time.